Is the number of WordPress plugins on your site slowing it down? Maybe. <laughs> uh, so if there's a common misconception that the number of plugins you have on your website will slow it down. But the truth is, with the right plugins and the right maintenance routine, you can keep your site speed up and have the features you want. Hi, I'm Liz Stapleton, your host of the Blogger Breakthrough Summit podcast. And in today's episode, I'm sharing some knowledge dropped by WordPress guru Grayson Bell during the 2021 Blogger Breakthrough Summit. I'm going to go ahead and let's get to what he has to say. Another item, uh, plugins. When yeah, I, I say that, that you were like, seriously, Liz. <laughs> yeah. When, when I say plugins, um, what I mean is that there's a common misconception that the number of plugins affects uh, the speed. That's not technically true. It's what they, it's, it's what they do, yeah. not how many you have. So you can have um, a fast site with 50, 60 plugins, as long as they're well coded and stuff like that, especially if you're thinking about um, e-commerce and something like that, you're gonna need, and not every plugin affects the front end. They only load uh, when you run it, yeah. uh, back end kind of thing. So you can have, use the number of plugins that you need to mm -hmm. get the features that you want. Like that's what yeah. WordPress is about, right? Uh, the thing is most people, uh, double up or triple up on the same type of plugin. Mm -hmm. We see it with caching plugins. We see like six or seven backup plugins. Um, we see, uh, multiple image op optimization plugins, like, and then you just have plugins that haven't been updated in six or seven years. It's probably time to get rid of those. Like yeah. there's a fine line between knowing that a plugin still kind of works, even though it hasn't been updated in a while, but like yeah. six or seven years is a long time. You probably should just dump that. Like yeah. it's time to get rid of that. We do a lot of plugin audits and that's typically what we find um, are really outdated plugins that are never going to be updated again. And really those um, affect the site not being able to run on the latest version of yeah. PHP or the new version of WordPress 5.1. 5.1, which it is right now. I have no idea what version it is. I just let you take care of it. Yeah. I mean, the new version is 5.5.1, um, but you know, like PHP, um, you know, is 7.4 and almost every host has it now. I think, yeah. I think every host and, and has it And when this now. airs, it might be different. Like really, if you're going to do like a plugin audit, you really want to just look to see what you need. It, are, do, are you using all of those things? Mm -hmm. uh, a, a good way to tell is, um, you know, just deactivate it and go look at your site like you know, like a reader would. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't, if you don't Which see anything different. something you should do occasionally anyway. Yeah. I think a lot of us forget sometimes to go, actually go look, like look in an incognito window. Mm -hmm. I had a period where for six weeks, my posts weren't showing to people, but I would see them and I didn't know it yep. until, you know, and it was like a caching issue and it got fixed quickly. That's definitely a big one. I definitely would yes. recommend that. Just, I mean, even if it's another browser that you don't use regularly, yeah. um, incognito or another browser, just yeah. open it up. Um, that also, because here's the thing, you are not typically cached as an admin. Mm -hmm. So you, you are most likely going to see things slower as well. Uh, because you are an uncached visitor when you're already logged in. So your readers might see something much faster. And that's typically what we see is a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you know, I didn't even know this was broken where I'm like, well, did you ever check your site on your phone or something yeah. else? Uh, just check it where you're not like, logged in. Like create like a recurring task and whatever your product yeah. management tool, like every week or every other week or once a month, go in and do a solid like look around of your site yeah. to see if something's broken. Yeah, just, just look around. I mean, um, uh, it works out pretty well. After hearing Grayson speak, do you now have some ideas to clean up your plugin game? I hope so. But plugins are just one part of site, the site speed equation. To learn more from Grayson, head to bloggerbreakthrough.com forward slash podcast deal to watch Grayson's entire session. And I will catch you next time. <music>